Arthur Collins was jailed for 20 years yesterday, wiping out any hopes he might have had of a normal relationship with his daughter. But while Fern McCann is accepting the fact that she will raise baby Sunday completely alone, her first and only interview with Collins reveals that things could have been so different. A week before the horrific acid attack, the loved-up couple posed for the cover of OK! magazine and told how they planned for babies and marriage. Fern revealed that at the start of their relationship, she was willing to overlook early warning signs about the thug's bad boy behavior. But this proved disastrous and the same day that the magazine hit the shelves, Collins went on the run from police after throwing acid in a club, maiming innocent clubbers. Fern and Arthur first got together last summer, but split after a trip to Ibiza, and got back together in March. Facebook posts from nine years ago in which Collins posted about Class A drugs came to light but Fern denied her beloved was a bad boy. We all did silly things when we were teenagers, she naively said. The giddy reality TV star admitted that she met Collins on Instagram in August 2016 after thinking he had a cool look. And after a month back together she couldn't wait to move in. We spend every night together anyway. Moving in is definitely the next step. And I know that seems a bit rushed, but when you know, you know, she said. Arthur is moving in the day after I get the keys. I get them on May 5th, he'll move in on May 6th so I just need 24 hours to settle in and put my stuff down. She planned their wedding down to every last detail, including the lobster brioche buns and DJ with bongos and a saxophonist. She said, we've spoken about our wedding. We want to get married on a beach. I want it to be a party and a celebration. I want these long extensions, mermaid-style hair covering my boobs, with flowers in my hair and no shoes. But Fern was doomed to live alone after Collins was taken into police custody. Yesterday in court, Collins, who injured more than 20 people in the Easter Sunday attack, was branded dangerous as it emerged he had previously threatened to have an ex's mum raped and acid thrown in her face. The petty drug dealer 25, looked pale as his sentence was read out but winked at his family as he was led to the cells. 